now, a page from our Sunday morning almanac. February 20th, 1962, 49 years ago today, the day a rocket lifted both an American astronaut and the American spirit. For that was the day John Glenn was hurtled into orbit around the Earth. Our capsule is in good shape. A decorated Marine Corps pilot in World War II and Korea, John Glenn went on to become a record-breaking test pilot. This is Eddie Hodges, and here is his partner, Major John Glenn Jr. The and Marine a young Corps contestant's captain. teammate in 1957 on the game show, Name That Tune. Needless to say, I'm very happy to be chosen. In 1959, Glenn was picked to become one of the seven original Mercury astronauts. At a time when America seemed to be losing the space race to the Soviet Union. When Yuri Gagarin became the first man to orbit the Earth in 1961, the U.S. answered at first with a pair of short suborbital flights. But finally, the following February, John Glenn boarded the capsule Friendship 7 in an attempt to match the Soviet feat. Godspeed, John Glenn. The whole country was watching and holding its breath when Glenn lifted off. And we didn't exhale until Glenn's capsule splashed down safely three orbits. The shoot looks very good, over. And more than four and a half hours later. John Glenn was a national hero. Congratulated by President Kennedy. Honored with a traditional ticker tape parade. And welcomed at a somewhat less traditional ceremony on the waters off Hyannisport. Mrs. Kennedy and high flying Glenn practically go into orbit aboard water skis. John Glenn retired from the space program in 1964 and went on to become a four-term senator from his native Ohio. I declare my candidacy for President of the United States. Although his bid for the 1984 Democratic presidential nomination fell short, John Glenn made headlines again in 1998. He returned to space at age 77 on a nine-day shuttle mission to study the effects of space travel on aging. Hard for some of us to imagine but John Glenn will turn 90 later this year. Of the original seven Mercury astronauts, only Glenn and Scott Carpenter survive.